Dorado. Yes, El Dorado. What an adventure. What a story. Who would believe it? Who could possibly tell it? Tulio, you are the hero. You must tell it. No, Miguel, please. You are the hero. You must tell it. Yes, I will. But uh, where do I start? We were in Spain. Yes. In the marketplace. Yes. It was morning. No, it was evening. It was morning. We had just woken. From our siesta, it was evening. Am I telling the story? You're the hero. Compromise. That's a deal. It was mid in the marketplace in Spain. Hugs and kisses wanted, Miguel. This is thrown into a stinking cell and forgotten about wanted. Oh, we'd better get out of town and quick. And we'd better keep away from the town guards too. This poster worries me, Miguel. It certainly brings out your worst features. You're a true friend. Anybody watching? No. Greetings. What do you sell? Corn, golden bounty of the new world. Could you give me a small bag of corn? Give me one peseta and I shall. One peseta? That's all the money we have in the world. Here you go, one peseta. And here you go, one small bag of corn. Goodbye to freedom, bird. It's eaten all our corn. Who cares? We're one chicken up on the deal. for a chicken. 20 pesetas. Very reasonable. What will you give me for this uh, splendid free-range chicken? Five pesetas. What? But you sell them for 20. That's how the market works, mister. Buy low, sell high. This is an outrage. Haven't I seen your face before? Five pesetas, eh? We'll take it.
friend. Would you care to indulge in a game of chance? What's the game? Dice. Oh, yes! The bones are my friends. I'm in. Excellent. How much can you wager? Five pesetas. Ah, now you're talking. Show me the money and we can play. Okay, we've got enough money to get into your dice game. Let's play! <laughs> Such enthusiasm. The dice await, gentlemen. The rules are simple. The first player rolls two dice. The second player decides whether he will roll higher or lower. And chooses how much to risk on his guess. No more than four pesetas, though. The first player matches the bet, and then the dice are rolled. Uh, what if the second player rolls the same as the first? Then the first player wins. But don't worry. We take turns at being first. Okay, here we go. I say, lower. I'll wager two pesetas. I'll match that. A ten. Ah, you got lucky. Very well. Your turn. Now, do you want to bet you'll roll higher or lower? Higher! How much would you like to wager, my friend? I'll wager... Go for it! Four pesetas! I have no more money. Then we'll be on our way. It's been delightful doing business with... Wait, one more wager. But you're cleaned out, man. Not money. Something far more precious. Gems? No. This map. A map? Imagine my excitement. A map. We're gone. Have a nice day. A map of what? A map. Showing the secret road. To El Dorado. El Dorado? The city of gold? El Dorado, the city of fairy tale, you mean? It doesn't exist, Miguel. It's just a trick to fool. El Dorado. Oh, brother. The wager is simple. If I win, I'm back in the game. If you win, you get the map. And the money. No, I keep the money. What? The map's worth a million times more than these few coins. We agree. Are you crazy? Please, Tulio, it's the real thing. I know it. Of course, if you doubt your skill. Hey, the dice stay hot for me. Then prove it. I will. You'd better be right about that map, Miguel. You pair of card men, you've won my map. Maybe, but we're not getting any money out of this. Who cares about the money, Tulio? We've got the map to El Dorado. Well, I'm just quivering with excitement about that, Miguel. Just wait until we're at the fabled city of gold. Yeah. Fabled, as in non-existent. Come on, let's go.
That's far enough, lads. If you want to get onto the docks, you'll have to pay the dock tax. How much? 20% is for men, free for women. Come on, Miguel. Hey, Pablo, you'll never guess. Oh? What is it, Inigo? Those villains, Miguel and Tulio, have been spotted in the town. Oh, goodness, how frightful. Come, Inigo, we must prevent them from leaving. Hold there, varlets. Violets? Did he just call us violets? None shall pass. I, Don Mocoso, conqueror of the Moors, pledge it. Hey, kid, beat it. Come on, Miguel, we don't have time for this. shouldn't let a kid push you around like that, Tulio. We're on the road to El Dorado! No, we're not. We're still trapped in this town, remember? Barrels! Wait a minute! I'm getting an idea. Uh-oh. What if somebody was to advance on that little brat in a barrel? His stones would just bounce harmlessly off. One problem. Those barrels have had fish and vinegar in them. Where are you going to find somebody dumb enough to get in one? I can't see a thing in here. Look through the bunghole. Oh, right. That's better. Go get him, Miguel. Not fair. You're cheating. He's run off! Yay, us. We outwitted a six-year-old. Can I get out of this barrel now? Hey! He dropped his slingshot! I'll have that. Good. He was dangerous with it. Although not half as dangerous as you. to be out of that stinking barrel. I can imagine. In fact, I don't need to imagine. Could you stand downwind of me?
Hey, Pablo. What news, Inigo? New orders. Where to cover the docks. Ah, all I've done today is run around. Very well. To the docks, Inigo. So, why are we looking at that dress, Tulio? Hmm. Remember what the taxman said, Miguel? Twenty pesetas for a man to get into the dock. And women get in free. Oh, no, Tulio. Please, don't make me wear a dress. Not you, Miguel. Me. We just need to get to it somehow. We can't climb that fence, and it would take a cannonball to knock it down. We can't climb that fence, and it would take a cannonball to knock it down. We can't climb that fence, and it would take a cannonball to knock it down. We need to get that dress somehow. How? The fence is too tall. The idea of you armed with a slingshot terrifies me, Tulio. And, uh, greetings and salutations. I am the Great Malazo. We heard. Oh, of course, my fame has spread all across the world. No, we heard it from you just now. So, you fight bulls for a living. Any good at it? Any good? Any good? Do you know who I am? Remind me. I am the Great Malazo, conqueror of El Diablo. El Diablo? The devil? I defeated the devil in Bovine 4. The devil looked like a bull? Right. Okay. He's crumbled in the head, Tulio. Come on, let's go. sound very exciting. In this line of work, excitement is something to be avoided. Oh, really? Behind that gate is El Diablo. 
The biggest, most evil bull in all Spain. You don't say. He's never been defeated and never forgets a face. So, if you want to live to a ripe old age, don't get El Diablo mad at you. Hey, stay away from that. Sorry. We need to get that dress somehow. How? The fence is too tall. Wouldn't it be better if you made the bull angry, then put up the wanted poster? You're right. We don't want this poster up for longer than we have to. I've had about all the malaise I can stand for a while. Have you ever heard of the Great Malezo? The Wretch Malezo, you mean. The Dolt Malezo. The Boggle-Eyed Fool Malezo. Friend of yours, is he? That pathetic fool? Never. He does say he beats El Diablo. Ha <laughs> ha! He ran around like a wet hen for so long, El Diablo grew bored chasing him. Hmm. He does claim to have defeated El Diablo. Let him face El Diablo again, and we'll see who is defeated. The bull will remember him? El Diablo never forgets a face, despite seeing more of that coward's behind. <laughs> I've got nothing I want to ask him. Stay away from that. Sorry. The 
idea of you armed with a slingshot terrifies me, Tulio. Hey, stay away from that. Sorry. We've seen where El Diablo is kept. He's a real monster. Yes, and only I, the great Malezo, was able to conquer him. I guess you're the real thing, all right. Hey, why don't we take a stroll over there and you can tell us all about it. To El Diablo? Yes, your greatest battle. He is securely locked up, isn't he? Behind a big, strong gate. Very well, then, yes, uh, I, the great Malezo, shall tell you of my glorious victory. Follow me. You're my hero, Malezo. Turn here. I fear nothing. By the way, that gate really is secure, isn't it? Craven Worm, Boppinjay. Hoi polloi, churl. What did you call me? Um, nothing. I can't bear the sight of you, you coward. If you won't leave here, then I shall. Good day. And I'd advise you two to have as little to do with that phony as possible. Well, you showed him all right. Yeah, you showed him what a wimp you are. He was wise to leave before he stirred my ire. You what? So... Are you going to tell us the tale of how you defeated El Diablo? Patience, my adoring friends. I need an audience. What are we? Take out Paella? I am the Great Malazo! Oh, it's Malazo. How does he do that? Listen, my friends, to the tale of how the great Malezo, that's me, defeated the so-called undefeatable boy, the monstrous El Diablo. Oh, you're so hunky. Now what? Stage one of my daring plan. Which is? Currently under development. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to unlock the gate, and then make myself scarce. Is that wise? The making myself scarce part is very wise. The rest isn't. Let's do it anyway. Okay.
Hey, el diablo's loose. Now, to get him to hate the fence. Remind me, uh, how do we do that? Maybe if there was a picture of somebody he hated on the fence, that would do the trick. Where are we going to find a picture of Malazo? If he was wanted, we could use his wanted poster. Forget it. We're the only wanted people around here. And El Diablo doesn't hate us. Yet. Uh, oh, no. Don't say it. If we get El Diablo really angry, he will kill us. No, not necessarily. better if you made the bull angry, then put up the wanted poster? You're right. We don't want this poster up for longer than we have to. That's the biggest animal I've ever seen. Tulio, that took a special kind of stupidity. Thank you, Miguel. It was step two of my daring plan. And step three is... Run! plan is, the bull sees the poster, thinks it's me, <laughs> finally, we have the dress. now.
Can we help you, sir? Get your kick stealing from little children, do you? Not usually. Let me handle this, Miguel. Uh, there appears to have been a misunderstanding. That's them, Papa. They bullied me and stole my slingshot. Uh-oh. No, Miguel, not uh-oh. This is not an uh-oh situation. I'm gonna make you wish you'd never been born. Uh-oh. Oh, yes! <laughs> now I remember. What a charming boy. We were playing Knights and Violet. Varlet. And Varlet with him earlier. You dropped your slingshot, Sonny. Remember? He dropped it? Well, yeah, but... You told me they stole it. As I said, uh, just a misunderstanding. Here. Just wait till I get you home. But that one had a bear. 